Hey guys, it's G. Welcome back to another video. Now today, oh, my stomach is making the loudest noises and it's really off-putting. Like I can just feel the rumble. Anyway, since we are all wearing masks at the minute, like 24-7, it's obviously like a government guideline to wear masks. Now, I'm not seeing that many people do it, but I have been obsessed with wearing pretty minimal makeup but also catfishing people you know where it looks like i'm wearing a full face however i'm wearing the least amount of makeup because i'm wearing a mask you guys know when you wear a mask the only things really that is on show is your eyebrows and your lashes now let's not talk about my eyebrows i know eyebrows are a touchy subject i need to get them done so badly but my lashes and my eyes look like normal but it, you know what I mean? When you wear a mask, it looks like you are so glam. So yes, I have done my normal wing liner, but that's just what I do on, you know, the days that I wear makeup. However, on the rest of my face, we are going super stripped back and minimal. I think I literally use three products for my face. Like it's that good. So if you want to stick around and watch how I do my minimal, no foundation mask, proof makeup then just carry on watching i don't wear a lot of makeup every day like i know i wear lashes and i know i'll whack on my big wing liner but that is just my staple and i do feel really like you know confident in that i mean i don't wear makeup every day like off camera i wear makeup only when i film that's it and that's just like you know as normal as someone going to work with makeup that's literally all it is like the other day i went out to picked up a few bits and i went out the house with not a scratch of makeup on and i'm fine with it but when i'm filming stuff it's just like my job and i feel like i kind of want to wear makeup i want to look good i want to feel good as well so for like the days where i don't want to wear a full face which is not every day but today because i'm wearing a mask i don't need a full face of makeup on and because my skin isn't you know it's actually doing okay so i sprayed this on at night and then it gives me like a nice glow for the days where i don't want to put a lot of makeup on i do this look basically which is most days i'm not gonna lie i don't put a full face of foundation on so just to kind of even my skin out a little bit i'm just gonna take the laura mercier and to i think it's called the flawless fusion ultra long wear concealer this is amazing i really love this i love the doe foot of this i'm just gonna pop a little bit on the inner corner and kind of like under my eye i'm gonna do it on both sides obviously i'm gonna apply a little bit just on the middle part of my nose because i find i look up for some reason i find that i look a little bit more like bluey in this area which i don't know why and then a little bit just on my chin this is like a really lovely concealer and then I'll just take a brush and I'll just blend that in. So as you can see, that's just with a tiny bit of concealer. Can you see how it literally smooths all of my like skin and it blends that area into my face so it looks more flawless, like a natural flawless face. And then to just just to add a little bit of colour I normally would go in like with a bronzer where is my bronzer actually hello so at the minute I am loving the Hoola bronzer by Benefit but it's the caramel version the caramel is a lot warmer which is why I like this um, Hoola's lovely like I mean Hoola's incredible but this is my favourite this and I think it's called Hoola Hoola Toast Toast Toasty. Toast. I swear it's Hula Toasted, but this is caramel and it's beautiful. It's like the most beautiful warm bronzer. And all I do is grab this just across my face, just to give me a bit of colour. And it literally looks like I'm wearing a full face. Like it's so mad. The look, like look at how nice that is. Just a bit of like colour, but I've got no foundation, which I just think is nuts. Like how that just looks so smooth. And I know I have like a bit of redness and discoloration here, but because I am actually wearing a mask, it basically covers that, which is great. And I might even this up a little bit. I just absolutely love the no foundation look. I think it's so pretty. Like, I'm sorry, but how can that look 
Like, in, I'm looking in my mirror. <laughs> I'm actually looking in my big mirror right now and it looks like I've put foundation, concealer, loads of liquid bronzer and then powder, but it's not. Like, I've literally just put concealer on and bronzer and it looks like this. Mind blown. I'm obsessed. I love it. Just because I am a little bit conscious of this MAC face and body, this is like moisturiser with a slight bit of tint. It's like tinted moisturiser, but even lighter than that it's so good i actually wear this every day like when you guys see me with the full face of makeup i literally wear this but it covers my freckles so well because i'm wearing tan as well it also covers it all i'm doing is i'm not even squeezing anything out i'm just taking i'm actually just taking the excess off the top of the bottle which as you can see it's hardly anything i'm just gonna blend it like the tiniest i'm just gonna apply that just on my jaw Can we appreciate that oh, that's just covered it and I've not even used a pump like I've literally used as you can see like literally hardly anything on the bottle like there's a little bit at the side there tiny bit blended just on my jaw just blended on my jawline and see how that has just made it look a lot more seamless just because again like I've said when I'm gonna wear the mask I don't want a big white patch there because that's going to look a bit awkward. I've so converted to tinted moisturiser, it's like the best foundation ever because I think foundation looks too heavy on my skin. I might apply a bit of bronzer to my eye. I do this quite a lot but I don't always use bronzer. Okay, so I actually own two of these L'Oreal um, concealers that I got sent a few weeks ago and it's called Eye Cream in a Concealer. Can you see the theme that I'm going here? Like, the theme of my makeup is always like, you know, tinted moisturiser, lightweight concealers. I used to wear the thickest foundations, the most high coverage concealers, because I watched so much, so much. And that's all because I used to watch so many people on YouTube makeup gurus where they would wear like the most full coverage concealers and foundations and me feel like I needed to do that which is why years ago I used to wear like the thickest foundations um, and now I just kind of like let my skin texture come through my natural freckles like I know I have got tan on like I've said tan does make my skin look flawless and blend my freckles in so that's why I don't wear that much makeup when I do wear tan but what I do love doing is wearing this concealer, which actually is my normal concealer that I do wear on a daily, but I got sent a darker one. Um, this is in the shade, it's quite dark, Golden Honey 9W, like it's pretty dark, but they don't seem to go too dark for my complexion. Now they, you probably won't even be able to see this, but I apply this really warm concealer just on the outside of my eye because it's so lightweight it looks really natural and I kind of apply a little bit here as well just because I don't like it dead bright here and then I'll take my brush which I've lost again so I'll just take my brush and I'll blend it in to my eye and I don't know if you can see but like it just gives me a little bit of a colour on my eye without adding eyeshadow because I've not worn eyeshadow in months i feel like i've not worn eyeshadow in about a year nearly now because i just don't have the i don't know i don't really have the love for it as much now i do prefer like using cream products so i use the less you know less is more which is using a concealer for eyeshadow like a really warm concealer as eyeshadow is beautiful For the first time in quite a long time, I've been trying a lot of like newer makeup products instead of sticking to my usual products. Um, I will be doing a favourites video so you will see the things that I've been loving in that video. However, I'm just going to quickly pop on, which I need to get more of because I'm just going to pop a bit onto my lower lash line. Like, I don't know if you can see, but you can still see like my freckles. <laughs> stomach now in terms of lips you literally don't even need to put lipstick on because you are literally wearing a mask it's gonna come off sorry to break it to you but the makeup that you do is just gonna end up transferring onto the mask so don't even waste your time using that charlotte tilby 
lipstick because it's just going to be wasted, RIP. I only really use lip liner and lip balm or lip ointment or whatever. I'm just going to use my Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream because I'd rather have moisturised lips than to dry my lips out under a mask because it's already dry enough under there so just work on your favourite lip balm. Things that I've been loving for my lips at the minute especially because I've not been wearing lipstick have been my <laughs> bougie but you can get literally a dupe of this in boots. I think the Rimmel ones are really really good. The NYX ones are amazing. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Super Size Me. This I'm not going to use today because I need to sharpen it and also I don't need it but I just go along the edges of my lips and I just shade it in then I use my finger and I just blend it and it literally makes me lips look normal. It's kind of funny because every time I wear this lip liner with lip balm on loads of people think that it's my natural lips with just lip gloss on but it's not, it's overlined lips with this and then I use a bit of lip balm um, but this is my favourite lip liner. Anything with like a pinky tone I love, like I love it, I think it looks so flattering. Then another thing that I've been obsessed with is using Benny Tint. Why is this not spoken about enough on YouTube and just in general? Because I feel like this is a gem of a product. This is literally just a liquid tint. So you pop it, I had bought the mini, but I am actually gonna buy the full size because I've nearly used it. Never in my life have I used a product all up like this and I've nearly used it, I've got a tiny bit left. This is basically, it looks like a nail polish and you just pop it on your lips, like, I don't know if you can see, but... <laughs> I mean, I can't really rub my lips at the minute, but that's just kind of like on the bottom lip. And see how natural that looks like it's such a natural tint so you only need like a tiny bit you pop it on your lips and it makes your lips look bigger but super naturally because obviously you're just going over your natural lips it just gives you more color it's literally lip blush in a bottle like you pop it on it tints your natural lips and you don't have to worry about the whole day because it's tint so it does stain um, you can also apply this to your cheeks but I just use it on my lips and I pop it in my bag and if I have no makeup days especially, love this. Because fun fact about me, I'm anemic. I'm, I seem to have very, very pale lips. I've had lip blush and my lips are still pale because that's how anemic I am. And my legs can go really purple, which is disgusting. But that's just, you know, the problems. I'm very pale and ill. So with this, I love it because it makes me look a little bit less dead. Um, and then another thing that I love using is the basic queen herself. And this is just Vaseline, like the rosy tint Vaseline. See how it just gives you that lovely natural tint without looking like you've got lipstick on. Yeah, these are literally like the best things ever. No, that failed. All right, so that is it for my everyday, no foundation, minimal, mask proof makeup look. I love wearing this. This is great if you are okay with wearing like minimal makeup. If you do like full coverage foundation, you wear that girl. Like you cake that face. If you want to cake your face, that is fine. But for me personally, this is like my favorite go-to look at the minute. My stomach is rumbling. <laughs> so yeah, I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Um, yeah. I'm going to love you and leave you and I'll see you guys in the next one.